everybody, and welcome to an interesting video with the new species uh, that just came out. You know, the Spinoraptor, Spinoceratops, all that jazz. Uh, we had this guy. This is the Ankylodocus. Now, when coming up with ideas for videos, I really didn't know what to do because let's be honest it's a sauropod and unfortunately they didn't give it anything unique even though it has a massive club tail lots of armor on it osteoderms all that jazz it pretty much dies to a light breeze despite it you know no, obviously wouldn't really so what i thought would be quite a fun idea is to just see how quick a large carnivore can take it out. You know, we'll, we'll time a T-Rex, a Spinosaur, a speed run, if you will. So, to start with, we will release the dinosaurs in this enclosure. They will go straight for this guy. We'll restart after everyone. So, unfortunately, you're going to see the Sankalotikus die probably multiple times. Uh, I want you to place your bets. Who are our contestants? Well, first, with have Acrocanthosaurus. Tarbosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ultimosaur won't be in this because it's a modded creature and it'll probably just instantly kill it, so it's a bit unfair. Uh, and in the other one, we have Carcharodonosaur, Giganotosaurus, Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and finally, Spinosaurus. Which one of these do you think will kill it the quickest? Okay, have you got have you got your answers? Are you locking them in? Lock it in. Who, who do you think is going to be the first one? Who's going to take first place? Because I'm going to tell you who I think is gonna take first place. And that's Scorpius Rex. I don't know, maybe it's because, I don't know, it has poison. <laughs> but maybe I'll be wrong. Anyway, the timer will start once the dinosaur has done its release animation. Okay, I have just made some minor alterations because there was trees in the background, which obviously obscures the battle like the Ankylodocus would go and hide there. I've also shortened the space so that the carnival will no longer run around and try and scope out its territory and then decide to fight it. And let's release our first combatant, that being Acrocanthosaurus. And on my mark, once the animation stops, when it does its roar and stuff and we zoom out, that's when the timer will start. So there we go, lovely roar. And are you ready? There we go. Okay, there we go. One second, two second. How quickly will Acrocanthosaurus attack? And now I have made sure before, with a failed attempt to found the trees and such, <laughs> that the Acrocanthosaurus does in fact attack it. So that's good. And Glodus, uh getting a lovely good close-up of it there. Like, oh, so that's how I'm going to die. Look, you have a beautiful, marvelous, massive tail on the back of you, as well as armored plating. And the plumber developers of Frontier decided to give you zero attacks. I am so sorry. So sorry. Uh, I don't know. Am I the first person to come up with a speed run? <laughs> I was like, okay, well, spider after we can do a certain thing. But I really can't do anything with Ankylodocus, apart from it looking nice. Because, let's be honest, it's a cool design. And really, it should be able to have something. Maybe I missed it. That could be the case. There's probably loads of people in the comments like, no, no, no. It can actually kill Velociraptors or something. There's just a sweep when they can walk around it. And that might be the case. But uh, I haven't found it just yet. Acrocan. <laughs> Acrocan before. Not looking interested in it so far. Oh, this is gonna cost you. If you were an Indominus Rex or a Scorpius Rex, oh, you wouldn't have wasted any time. You would start attacking it by now, I bet. One minute 20, passing now. Um, this is obviously the first one I've done, so I have no idea what really is part. Oh, oh, hold on. We had a, a slight sitting animation from the Ankylodocus, and then it got up. That's interesting. Maybe it got panicked. But again, RNG is gonna play a little bit of a role, probably a vital role, because if the Anacolodicus is sat down, well, it obviously can't be attacked, but it looks like we have a lining up for the Acrocanthosaurus here. The, <laughs> the Anacolodicus may be presenting its behind, and Acrocanthosaurus is waiting. This looks like it. This looks like our first fight. Yes! Ah, bite on the tail. Beautiful num nums. There it is, the first bite. I might be two. It might be one. Oh! Oh, it's looking really bad. That's that's like 15% health, if not lower. Agrocanthosaurus is going to do... Oh, there it goes! Two minutes, 15! Ankylodocus goes down with one bite from the Acrocanthosaurus. Wow. I thought maybe one or two, but two 15! That's a really good time. Okay, right. On to the next one, then. Okay, here we go. 
Going down alphabetically, the next one, the infamous, the famous, Kaka. <laughs> right. Oh, I was going to say, are you, are you ready already? But you're not. Okay. Now, if Aqua can kill it in one, I've got high hopes that everything else can kill it in one. And boom, there we go. Off we go. Now, two minutes, 15 for the Acrocanthosaurus. Pretty darn good. So let's see if this guy is any quicker. I think that might be the average for the majority of the carnivores that aren't Indominus Rex. Because, you know, I don't know, that one's just so aggressive that as soon as it sees something, it wants to kill it. The Ankylodocus uh, might have to run out its stam before the large carnivores actually attack it. So maybe that might play a role. Uh, in everything deciding to, like, go for it. Oh, okay. We've got the strats, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Possibly. We've got a resting boy. Okay, we're approaching the one minute mark at the moment. We've got 48 seconds on the clock. Ankylodocus, can you do it? <laughs> What's the longest you will survive for? Oh, here we go. 57... Oh, we're approaching the halfway mark. Now, it did just take one bite to kill the Ankylodocus when it was the Acrocanthosaurus. So it's possible that the Carcharodonosaurus may be one bite too. I don't know. I, I would kind of put those together. Okay, the roar, they've seen each other. Right, less than a minute now. If you want to make your play, Carcar, you best do it now. Oh, forever be last. Maybe. You definitely won't win, that's for sure. One minute 30 on the clock now. Okay. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Not too... F you know what? I'm not a fan of the car car. Uh, it's design anyway in this. I love the name. The name. It oh, it's classic. I mean, come on. But this design? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's scientifically accurate. Oh, God. One minute 50. Car uh, car is too... Uh, it just isn't maybe... I don't have the killer in. Oh, hold on! Hold on, never mind! As soon as I was talking, uh, Ankylodocus actually, with the way that it is, it's buying itself time. But it kind of looks like they both went for it at around about the same time. Two minutes, 12. And that means, uh, right now, there we go. Acrocanthosaurus has won the first bite coming in from Karkar. But will it be a killing blow? Or will Ankylodocus survive? Okay. Oh, it's looking bad. Oh, it's really bad. And our survey says, is it going to collapse at the ragdoll? There we go. Two minutes, 33 for Carcharodontosaurus. That was unfortunate. A little bit of RNG there. The fact that Ankylodocus was in a position where uh, the Carcharodontosaurus <laughs> couldn't get behind it. But still, another one-hit kill. So, on to the next one. Okay, the next combatant going alphabetical is the Giganotosaurus. Uh, this one may be the quickest that we've had so far. I would imagine that maybe Frontier has given this one, like, a little bit more aggression. And time goes now. There we go. Right. Come on. Imagine if it just goes for it straight away. <laughs> that would be quite impressive. Although it... Ooh, I was going to say, it looked like it was lining it up straight away. No. Nah, nah. I, I can only imagine... Do you think, possibly, that the Indominus... Oh, sorry, the Indoraptor might be able to kill it? That could be interesting if there's a special one, because I think maybe, maybe we'll give Indoraptor a go just to see if it's even possible. Hmm. I mean, Ankylodocus says that it only did, like dislikes two dinosaurs, that being Indominus Rex and Scorpius Rex. But apparently, you know, it doesn't like Acro and Karkar at the moment. I'm assuming any other large carnivore uh, it doesn't like either. Maybe raptors go for sauropods, but I don't think so. Giganotosaurus going for the uh, the classic strato that we've seen with the car car. They're playing it cool, looking like I'm not gonna go and kill him. You, you know, you can you can turn your back to me. It's fine. <laughs> One minute on the clock, so it's around about two minutes uh, that we see the attack come in from the large carnivore. Again, I, I seriously believe that Indominus Rex and Scorpius Rex might be the ones to break the mold. And now that I know that, um, you know, this thing dies in one hit, or at least it appears to from the two uh, fights we've had so far. 
it might not be Scorpius Rex who gets the uh, the victor there. And maybe we're going to see... Oh, the victory. Uh, maybe we're going to see a very tight, tight final times from every dinosaur. So here we go. We've got 15 seconds, I think, before Giganotosaurus decides to go for it. What's great is... Oh, oh, are you going to turn? Oh, 1 minute 55. Ooh, any second he might come over. Two minutes, one, two. No? I don't think it's gonna go for it. Oh no, that. Oh god, Acro is gonna win. Acro, two, twelve. Yeah, that's it. I don't think Acro. Yeah. Goes for the second sit. Oh no, yeah. Hate to see it. Giganotosaurus, what you doing? Too much spike. It's, it's all flare. It's all bark. There's no bite. Uh, th <laughs> it's such a fat dumpling. I love it. Oh, is it going to sleep? Oh, at least we get to see some cool animation here. That was a nice little idol. Sniffing the ground, waggling its tail. Oh, this could be the worst. Never would I have thought Acrocanthosaurus would be the one to win. Did we get lucky? I don't know. Are they both sitting down? Giganotosaurus is up. Ankylodicus is up. Three minutes. Oh, this is terrible time. This should be on summoning salt. Can we play the music? There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> the speedrun. And that speedrunner was me. <laughs> Come on, then. Here we go. We're lining up. Could this be it? I think it might be. Although maybe it's not. Maybe. Look at it. I never realized that it had some back spines missing. Damn, this thing has been through the wars. Poor bugger. One of the, the most unfortunate on-screen portrayals of you. Whether it was just the dinosaur itself or the species, really. Uh, did nothing wrong and got one of the most brutal deaths. Here we go. Three minutes, 48. The Giganotosaurus decides to attack it, but... Will it kill it in one hit? I think it might. Oh, there we go. Slowing down. Four minutes. Oh, that is terrible. And the final pop for the ragdoll is... Boom, there it is. I've got four minutes, seven seconds. By far the slowest. Could be literally the slowest time we have had. That was almost double how long it took Acrocanthosaurus to kill it. Okay, well, that was terrible. Let's move on to the next. And it's the moment we have all been waiting for. Indominus Rex. Can this be the one to topple Acrocanthosaurus off the top position? I think so. I don't know. I've got high hopes for Indominus Rex. Either that or Scorpius. Scorpius always seems to go for the uh, sauropods. And there we go. Time has started. One second. How quickly? Oh! Oh my god! It's a speed running record straight for it! Indominus Rex, not even 10 seconds in! Goes for the kill, but will it kill it in one hit? And Galonis, can you survive? No! Its life is sapping from it! And it's about to drop Ragnar, and boom! 23 seconds. I got 23 seconds, 19 here. Oh! Oh! Wow, okay, that. I don't know what to say to that, man. That that could be a world record. <laughs> that was insane. Okay. All right. I guess moving on to the next one. That was so quick. Okay. Here's the only one I think is going to give the Indominus Rex a run for its money. Scorpius Rex. We will also, like I said, put an Indoraptor. But let's see. 23 seconds is the time to beat. Can Scorpius Rex do it? Ah, time starts now. Here we go. Yeah, oh! Oh my god! Straight away! Less than five seconds already attacking it. It depends on the animation. Go, little bulldog, go! But does it have the power to kill it in one hit? <gasps> oh! Is it gonna survive? Oh, look at that! I think it is. 21, 22. Yeah! Scorpius Rex. I knew it. I knew it had... The ability to go for it super quick. Is it going to pop? It might be right here. It, is it going to go for a second hit? It's roaring. 
Oh, it's, got, it's definitely got second place, I think. And is it gonna go? It looked like it was lining up for another attack there, but remember, Ankylodocus is Venom, so it's gonna be losing health every second. It's less than 15% here. Wow, if only it had the, you know, the, the damage to kill it with one, but that's not how Scorpius Rex works. It's gonna go for the, uh, the, you know, the venomous bite to deal damage over time. And Ankylodocus is really, really looking bad here. We're on one minute 11. Oh, maybe it's not even second if Acrocanthosaurus was able to do it with one bite. That could have been it. It could have been like 15 seconds there or something like that. But because the Venom is just taking its sweet time to work, one minute 30. Oh, it's, it's really taking a long time to do it. I, I don't even know. I don't think this is going to be second. I, okay, look, for the record, let it be known that I was right. Scorpio Sharks technically won because, well, it didn't. Okay, look, it went for the, the attack the quickest, okay? Indominus Rex just wins because it's Indominus Rex. But Scorpius, it had the attitude, and I knew it could do it. <laughs> oh, no, we're approaching the two-minute mark. What What is Scorpius Rex doing? Hold on, let me let me see if we... Oh, okay, yep, 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 just lying there, huh? Yep, okay. Oh, it had so much life left in it, actually. Oh! Oh? The second attack? Oh, no, the roll. Okay, we're on two minutes 20. Oh, you were, you were the chosen one. You're supposed to be biting it, not roaring up its ass. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, two minutes 34. I don't even think it's third at this rate. This could be a fourth. I think, I mean, we haven't even seen the other ones. I could cut the source did really well to go for it there. Scorpius, you... Okay, Scorpius, I don't even know. It's got five minutes of venom on it. And then it has to attack it again. But... Oh, there it is. And there's the second attack. This should put the nail in the coffin for the Ankylodocus. And it's probably going to get a little bit further away. And we're looking at three minutes sub four. But, I mean... Not the best it could have been. Even more damage and the pop and boom! There it is. Three minutes, 16 seconds with such a promising start. Ah, it's such a shame. Well, anyway, on to the next combatant. Is this guy like lazy to see if Jeans is lazy or something? That's interesting. Okay, okay, we'll reset Spino. Okay, here we go. Here we go. With the new release of the Spino. This one is not nocturnal. None of the other ones were. So that kind of makes sense. And uh, on the clock, here we go. Spino. Ooh, ooh, nice skin. I like it. Okay, now can it beat Indominus Rex? I don't have high hopes, but it's possible that it could get a good second or third or fourth. But you never know. I didn't think that Scorpius Rex would get a three minute. But then again, it didn't have the attack that it needed really to take down Ankylodocus. Spinosaurus, it's in a good position. It's kind of running out the Ankylodocus's uh, uh, stamina here. That's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Right. That, that could play a part. I'm really not too sure. But I've never seen this before. That's the important thing. We like to see new things here. 50 seconds. Approaching the one minute mark now. Ankylodox has probably run out of stam. There it is. And Spino. Really, it needs to go for it at around... Oh, God, a sleepy again. Okay, as long as it lies down, it probably won't go to sleep because it's not nocturnal. It's just intolerant. I think it has extra attack and extra defense, but... I don't know. Most big carnivores can kill this thing in two seconds flat. Apart from Scorpius Rex, because it's not technically a giant carnivore. It's sort of like a medium carnivore. Oh, there you go. A lovely burp from Spino. And a getup at 1 minute 30, which is around about the attacking time. And it just... Oh, it's a bit awkward here. Uh, the Spino might just run straight at the Ankylodocus and then... Maybe work its way out. Ankylodocus is moving really slow now. 144. Not looking good. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, this could be it. This could be. Oh, 
Oh, it's unfortunate. I don't think it's going to get a second. It really wants to. But Ankylodocus, just because it was next to the corner, two minutes, it's going to be close. And there it is. Okay, the attack. Bam. Another attack. Two minutes, eight, nine. This, I think it's probably dead. It just depends when it pops. 13, 14, 15. And... Ragdoll in three, two, one, boom! It is a two minutes, 21. Not bad from the Spinosaur. I don't think that's made it second, but I think that's a third place. Okay, that puts it 12 seconds ahead of Karka, meaning I think that's third place for Spinosaurus. Rejoice, Spino fans, it's not last. <laughs> Now we got Tarbo. Hello. Where's this giddy is you are? All right, come on, Tarbo. You got this. And on the clock right this second. Let's see. Now, it seems like the majority of large carnivores attack at the 1 minute 40. So we've got uh, maybe a minute before it attacks, unless, you know, the dinosaur's scripted to be extra aggressive. But I'm not too sure. Tarbo, again, dinosaur that... It's basically just a beefed up T-Rex. T-Rex, but mewing, basically, uh, from Camp Cretaceous. I think it was from the interactive episode where you could choose fates or something like, something like that. I'm really not too sure. I didn't watch it. All I know is that it had a roller coaster in it. Uh, yeah, so we, we sort of did watch parties for every Camp Cretaceous season, but I didn't do one for the choice because obviously you can't click the choice uh and it'd be a watch along it's that's kind of a bit difficult right okay guys we're gonna click this one in three two one boom. <laughs> okay we're at over the one minute mark ankylodocus has got itself in another uh awkward spot here where the tarbo can't really get behind it very, very clever. Wants to make it awkward. Wants Acro to become... Oh, come second, I suppose, I was going to say. Indominus Rex is definitely first. One minute, 27 now. Ankylodocus. Oh, it's going for the tactical sit down right at... When Tarbo kind of turns its attention towards it there. Maybe it'll get up? But really, it's anybody's guess here. What could it... Oh, oh, is it... Okay, it's going for its other idle animation that's going to buy valuable, valuable seconds. 1 minute 55. And I don't think that's... First place, definitely out. Second place, definitely out. I think it's 2 minutes 33 is the time... Or 2 minutes 20... 21 is the time to beat. And... I don't know if it's gonna do it. I don't know if it's gonna do it. Yep, two minutes, 16, 17. Oh, it's gonna fall down to like fifth or sixth place. And Ankylodocus goes for a second sit down. Really not feeling any threat now. I'm pretty sure this thing should attack it. I'd be very surprised if it, if it can't attack it because it's a giant bloody carnival. Oh, An Ankylodocus has went to sleep. Okay. Yep, it's not nocturnal. It's just gone to sleep. This is completely in the rules. It's RNG, just like Scorpius Rex didn't go for all of its extra attacks, which could have placed it second, but unfortunately it didn't. Uh, this is something I can't control. Angelodicus is going to sleep, and because of that, Tarbo can't attack it. When it comes to something that's nocturnal, it makes sense to not have that in there, because that's a bit unfair, but... I don't know, man. This is the first time that Galonicus has went to sleep. And Tarbo is going to be really uh, seeing this. We've never seen over five minutes. This could be a five-minute timer here. The fact that Ankylodocus has got to get up. It's got to be attacked. We'll just see how this one goes. But, uh, oh, here we go. We've got the Ankylodocus getting up now. Gonna take valuable seconds though. Three minutes 48. Oh, it looks like it definitely wants to attack it. 
Oh my god. Oh, finally, it's starting to happen at four minutes. And there it is. There's the attack. But can it kill it in one hit? If it can't kill it in one hit, this is the worst. Um, I would say this isn't even Tarbosaurus's fault, actually. This is... Oh! 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 It didn't kill it! No! Oh my... Oh god! Okay. Wow, Tarbo. Tarbo being the slowest and for it got unlucky with the rng the fact that ankylodocus uh sat down and now after the two sits and ridiculously enough asleep after one attack it is still going oh no tabo We have it! We have it! And it pops at 9.13! It took three hits for Tarbosaur to kill it! It was so bad! I think the first one was like 70%. The second one down to 60. And I was expecting to be here for another like 5-10 minutes. But finally at 9 minutes 13, Tarbosaur kills it. Good God! <laughs> okay, here we go. A proper... T-Rex this time. Not a nocturnal one. My bad. <laughs> I was like, why is it going to sleep? That makes no sense. Right, here we go. So, as soon as the camera pans out, this is it for the finale. Yeah, I tried Indoraptor, and Indoraptor would not attack it. It would just run around and yell at it. Scare it and yell at it, even though they don't apparently get on. Well, they, did, they don't attack each other. I think the Indoraptor was the one that had the issue. Ankylodocus was fine with it. Interruptor didn't. So, already, in a couple of seconds, first place is going to go to Indominus Rex, I'm pretty sure. But, second and last is still up for debate. Depends how T-Rex gets on here. So again, we got the Rexia skin pattern here. Oh, going for a sit-down? Okay. Could be, you know, gaining strength. You never know. But... Not off to the greatest of start. We do know it probably won't go to sleep because it's not nocturnal this time. Goes for a little head scratch. <laughs> okay. Ankylodox is there just kind of like, oh. oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I'm going to live. So as far as we know, the dinosaur that gets on the best, Ankylodocus, is Tarbosaur. Because Tarbosaur took bloody ages to kill it. Here we go. Rexy's getting up now. It's had time to survey... It could go for the Ankylodocus. If it goes for it now, second place is a shoe in Really just depends. It's lining it up, kind of. But it could be Rexy's still just, you know, sorting out the, uh, the territory. Dinosaurs like to do that when they first get out. But Ankylodocus there could be a better target for a large carnivore. What are you going to do? <gasps> what are you going to do, yes? Are you going to go for it? No. Okay. Oh, it's approaching the golden time now. What are you going to do? Come on. Nope. Don't want to go for it. Oh, that's so interesting. Because when I recorded the nocturnal one. Oh, no. Two minutes. Okay. So it kind of does appear RNG is a major factor here. Rexy, what are you going to do? Are you going to go for it? Are you going to get third place? I think third place is 2 minutes... Two, 33? 21, I think, is second place. And that guarantees second place is done now. It all depends. I think it's not even going to get fourth place. Oh, here we go. This looks like it. Oh, it's going to be a close one. I don't think it's gotten third place. But fourth place, Rexy goes for the bite there. And will it kill it? In one single hit, survey says, 
Oh, yes, it's going down just like all the other ones. And the pop, there it is, a two minutes 48. A very respectable time for a large carnivore. Not the fastest, not as fast as the Acrocanthosaurus, but there we have the results. All I know right now is that Indominus Rex has won. So in second place is Acrocanthosaurus with a time of 2.15-ish. Then third place is Spino at 2.21. Fourth place, Carcharodontosaurus with a time of 2.33. In fifth place, T-Rex with a time of 2.48. Sixth? I don't even know. I've lost count now. Scorpius Rex with 316. Then Giganondosaurus at 407. And finally, at the very end, 9 minutes, 13 seconds, Tarbosaurus. I don't even know what happened with Tarbosaur there. That was a bit odd. But anyway, guys, there you have it. It's just it's a fun little video. I was like, what can we do with that Galonicus? I know. We can see it die. It's the only thing it's useful for. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.